Hi, I'm Yves Doucette. Welcome to Mind Shift Yoga. In this five minute practice for beginner sequence, we're going to theme it. And this theme is uh, eating efficiently. So <clears throat> think about when uh, you are hungry midday. And uh, what happens, we eat a lot, but we don't actually digest everything. It takes a while for the digestive system to start going. So this sequence, this flow that I'm gonna show you, helps you actually complete the digestive system, the rest of the food that you ate earlier on during the day, and it gives you a bit of energy. So I usually do this uh, midday or end of day in order to keep me going and to fully digest the food that I have. Now, you might play a little music when you do these sequences. That is perfectly normal. Like that's what we do as human beings. We play a little music when we start digesting our foods. So let's start. Mm -hmm. So let's start and um, we'll do cat cows. So we're gonna do approximately seven of these. <clears throat> so we've set up correctly, hands underneath your shoulders. Take a deep breath and look up. Bring your spine towards the mat. And as you exhale round the spine, bring your spine towards the sky. Hold your breath in. And as you exhale, extend the right hand out and the left leg out, looking up. Hold the breath in, and as you exhale, bring your elbow to the knee, rounding the spine, bring the spine towards the, towards the sky, pull the belly into the, into the chest, yeah? And then replace the hand and the knee, and extend the other hand and the other leg, looking up on the inhale, and then rounding the spine on the exhale, pulling the belly into the spine, and then do the other side as you inhale, Look up, spine towards the mat. Exhale, elbow to knee. Hold the breath in. Do the other side. Inhale, look up. And exhale, elbow to knee. Hold the breath in. One more time. Other side. And exhale, elbow to knee. Switch sides as you inhale and elbow to knee. Come back to a neutral spine. You can shake that off. And now come to a sitting position. We'll do butterfly pose. So bring your feet together. <clears throat> Clasp your hands and then reach out, reach for your pinky side of your toe, your pinky toes, and pull your feet towards your buttocks. Elbows are down, and then you basically flap your wings, bringing your knees up and down, breathing in, spine is erect, and just breathing in and out, and in and out. We'll do this for approximately one minute, and in and out, and in. Now I've been doing this, I've been practicing keto diet for a bit and it helped me at the beginning to just get rid of that hunger midday. So you should do these exercises after four hours after you've eaten a meal in order to get a little more energy out of your day, a little more production out of your day. Yeah. And get fully, your belly fully digested. So just continue. Pulling on your pinky toes and breathing, focusing on one point. Bring in the pillars, focus. And then release. Ah. Next up, we're gonna do rock the baby. So bring your one foot towards the center and then grab your, let's say, right foot. Bring your right foot as far as you can towards your left elbow and then your right elbow on your right knee and either hold on to your shin or clasp your hands. And then you go from side to side, breathing from side to side. As you just look forward, spine is erect, toes are engaged towards the knee, rocking from side to side. And you're giving your belly a small massage here, rocking from side to side. Breathing in 
and breathing out. So we'll do each side approximately two minutes each. The whole thing takes about six minutes. You can do this anywhere, anytime. Well, maybe not at Starbucks, but anywhere. <laughs> yeah. And it's a great way just to get your squeezing, you're basically massaging your belly. Yeah, and you're like, you're like stirring a pot. Like if you're making soup and you want, you're just stirring that pot to make sure that everything inside your belly is properly mixed and getting some extra help in the digestion. And it's gonna give you a bit of, yeah, it may give you a bit of gas. <laughs> so a little bit of music. <laughs> may do that that means it, it's working yeah and keep the breath keep the shoulders going from side to side spine is straight <clears throat> going from side to side and this is a great way to get a little more energy out of your day I can feel it working for me. <laughs> so my, my excuses, my excuse me. Mm -hmm. Breathing in and out. And now let's do the other side. Grab the left foot to the elbow of the right, right elbow and then rock the baby. Same principle, going from side to side. Trying to keep the toes flexed. Mm -hmm. Breathing in and breathing out. The mic went off there, so just, it's good. Going from side to side. So why is this important? Well, we tend to overeat, yeah? We tend to eat too much. One of my mentors once told me, if we want more energy, eat less. And I was wondering what he was saying by saying that. Well, it takes a lot of energy to digest your food. Meat takes approximately 48 hours to digest. I don't know if you knew that or not. So this is just a little bit of help, right? To digest your food. And you'll feel less hungry, hungry so it'll, help you go a little further in your day and you'll have more energy and isn't that what it's all about right living a life full of energy and happiness not always wondering what's for dinner <laughs> like that going from side to side massaging your belly cheapest massage you'll ever get right here <laughs> and it feels really good You can do this twice a day if you want to. Just make sure you don't do it right after a meal. Like I would suggest four hours after a meal as you just continue. And I can feel that working inside my belly. I can feel gases going and my body's like really getting energized. Really good. And release. And that's it. Thank you for joining us on this beginner's class for yoga. Hope you'll join us on the next one.